Hey, Jake Middleton here again. Wanted to talk to you about CMS Apps Concept Builder. To use this is quite nice. You just open up a new assembly. I like to set the background to white, put it on cartoon for the uh, environment, and then uh, drag and drop a nice gray finish to the background. That way any of these blocks that you uh, click uh, will automatically have this really nice cartoon concept look. The other nice thing to do is to go to your keyboard menu and search for the edit part and just program that to some key, like W. That way you can very easily click on the part, press W, and then use the instant 3D to drag these parts to the correct size. So the app is pretty neat, it's very simple but uh, very very useful. You basically click on the primitive shape that you want, if it's a cube or cylinder or link, and then you uh, position it around and you can use Instant 3D to size it. Don't forget to hold down the control key uh, to add the quick mates in here. Like Profile Center is great for making links go together. So you basically go and uh, hook these up any way you want. If you want a, a new circle, you can go in here. You probably want to isolate it because they all show up in the origin. Um, but remember, you can turn this sort of uh, tube into a circle very easily. We'll just go and edit it and again use Instant 3D to just kind of shape it. So now it looks more like a wheel uh, than a tube. So these are why they're called primitives is because a lot of shapes uh, look very similar. They're just scaled differently. So again, very easy, just to kind of drag uh, this wheel out wherever we want it. We can go and insert a new pin, again, simply isolate it so we can grab it and move it up to the position that we want. Again, hold down the control key, put some quick mates in there to make the circles lined up. And you can basically start to uh, change the size of it so it fits in that hole a little bit better and you can use some more mates uh, in there. So again, commands that are commonly used in SOLIDWORKS, but they're brought to the surface in this Concept Builder um, app to very easily generate these sort of uh, quick concepts. And you're building a full assembly tree too, it's important to note. Again, change the size here, you're getting the full parts list, but you can very easily adjust uh, the size and shape. Now one of the mates I like to use a lot is called the lock mate, especially in this. Select two components and click the lock. Now it will lock those two parts uh, together, um, but it'll still allow them to rotate, which is extremely useful. So if we fix that pin in there and hook the two surfaces together, you'll see that that little knob will still be attached to the part because we locked it together. So we'll finish this off here with one more link in there. Again, remember the control key and remember the profile center mate. Very, very useful to link these uh, two together. So we'll finish this up and we'll actually get some nice mechanical motion in here. Very, very easy. Now imagine how fast uh, we did this and how long it might take if we had used standard uh, bottom-up assembly modeling or even top-down and then having those in-place mates uh, get in our way. Ugh, not good. But here, using the CMS apps and the concept builder, we can very easily start to conceptualize some of the projects, some of the motions, and, uh, and put our idea in 3D. Not just in paper, not just blocks, but now in 3D. So now let's have a little bit of fun with this. Let's actually show how we can edit it. Again, I program the edit component to my W key here. So you can just go edit it and maybe change the uh, sketch a little bit. Simply drag and uh, stretch out the shape a little bit. All the mates will reattach. And now you can test out to see what this new longer link arm would do as far as your motion is concerned. So it's just pretty neat to see this concept come to life. So some of the other things uh, you can do while you're editing this is maybe you want to make the wheel a little, a little bit bigger to get some more range of motion. Again, very easy. Use your instant 3D, grab on those little orange arrows, and you can drag it out. I'm going to suppress this lock mate real quick, and you can see it's very easy just to drag that pin out to the outside of that circle again. Remember, I'm not using advanced mates. These are all just very simple lock and fix but you're able to get your concept down very, very easily, and now you get this extended range of motion here for your uh, concept. Now looking at it from the side here, you can actually start to see that we're getting a little bit of interference there in the corner, so no problem. Very easy, we'll just come in here, we'll edit that part, again I programmed it to my W key, and I'll simply add a chamfer. 
Now remember chamfers, they're also part of Instant 3D. So after you add one, you have the ability to change the angle of the chamfer just by clicking and dragging, and also the distance of the chamfer by clicking and dragging on that dimension. So it's very easy to get the angle correct and the distance correct to give us a little bit of room, a little clearance there so we don't uh, hit anything. So now when we move it around, we can see that we have nice clearance and it uh, doesn't hit anymore. So again, that's Concept Builder. I'm Jake Middleton. Stay tuned for more exciting apps from CMS Apps. Have a great day.